talk to him. And I'm like, I just giggled at him. I invited him to church. Oh, man, I'm sick. I said, okay, it's no problem. But I thought, don't say you weren't invited. Don't say there wasn't an opportunity. It's a precious thing right now to assemble, to hear the word. It's a precious thing to Amen. worship together. Amen. The devil would like nothing more than to take that. See, because if he takes the activities away that the, that the church does, then how are we Christians? It's like removing a doctor from the hospital. He's not practicing anymore. Remove us from the church. Now, if we didn't have a church, we could be the head of our family. Whoever's called to be the head of that family. And I told my brother that today. I was like, I hope you, I hope you got a little Bible study going with your family. And you're taking up the headship of the priest of that home. And laying hands on them. And saying <coughs> worship with your family. And it's real quiet. Because I was reminding him. Amen? Amen. But we're seeing a new doctrine. A doctrine of devils being revealed to <laughs> men unfold before our very eyes where God said love thy neighbor as you love yourself now with being preached social distancing <laughs> isolate yourself no contact the enemy would love us to not have contact with the scripture says whatever you agree upon as in prayer as in touching you ask the father and in my name he will do it Amen. of course he doesn't want us to have contact of course he doesn't want us to come together. Because when we come together, it's supposed to say, one will set a thousand to flight, two will set how many, Eli? Ten thousand. There's power in numbers, amen? amen. You know, if ten is plenty, ten is plenty, amen? Five is plenty, amen. three is plenty, amen? Amen. Stay at home violates uh, what the Bible says is the Great Commission. We're to take and preach this gospel as a witness to the ends of the earth. Amen. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the leper, and even open up blind eyes. Mm -hmm. All that ends when you have to stay home. It's a demonic lockdown. They're trying to make people, that's a prison term. Isn't it, Eli? Eli don't know about that, but it's a prison term. That's what that is. You're on lockdown. And what are we, punished? We're on what, what, what do they call it? Because uh, you close your own doors, too. Yeah, what's that word? Uh, huh? No, that other word, uh, when you punish a kid. Grounded. Time out. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> so look, who the sun sets free is free indeed. Amen. Okay, Amen. look, wash your hands and wash them a lot. You know, they, they tried that on Jesus when he came and he walked the earth. They said, hey, how come your Pharisees and your, your disciples... They partake of this food and they don't wash their hands like we do. He says, look, man, you can wash the outside of the cup all you want, but you forget the inside. He was referring to them. Come on. See, they want us to cleanse ourselves by our own hands. We cannot keep ourselves healed. We cannot keep ourselves protected. There's no way. Only God can keep us protected. Amen. Our job is to make sure the inside is clean. Amen. Amen. So it's an attempt to cleanse our flesh with water and not by the blood of Jesus. Come on. So look, no gatherings over 10. We've got to get much more creative. I'm amazed at, the, at, at many people that are on vacation from church right now. I mean, they're just so willing. I mean, I can't believe it. Another brother I invited, all he talks about is pray for me. Pray for me, pray for me, pray for some of you guys, obviously, because he's not here. <laughs> but I love him, right? I'm like, little brother, man, you need to come. I'm giving him a you need to, <laughs> you need to come. Oh, oh, 